James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today, September 11, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a lot of action out of our star today. These are all going to be Earth-facing solar flares. We have three M flares and several strong C flares to talk about as well. All right, let's get started here. The first strong solar flare we saw was this M1.3 flare that popped off at 108 UTC time. NOAA has it as an M1.36. Now, this flare came from Sunspot AR3429. That was followed by an M1.1 right here from Sunspot AR3431. All right, the next solar flare you see here on GOES X-ray Flux has actually been named into two solar flares. They were generated by Sunspot AR3431. The first that you see here is a C7.1. The follow-up is a C9.2. All of it happened around the same time, around 5.30 to 5.50 UTC time. After that, we have more activity out of Sunspot AR3431, a C6.7 right here. And we have just had another M flare out of 3431 as well, an M1.1. Let's go look at those sunspots right now. All right, getting on board at about 1 UTC time, 3429. 3429 is located up here. Uh, it popped off the M1.3 solar flare. It would have had an Earth component to it, basically Earth facing here. Then that was followed by activity out of AR3431. It's going to be just below that here. So these sunspots coming around the limb are very active. That'd be followed up by C7.1 out of that same sunspot, 3431. Followed by another C flare, the 9.2 out of that same sunspot, 3431. Followed by that C6.7 flare out of 3431. Very active. So, so far we only have 3429 and 3431. Late yesterday, we did have a C3.6 flare out of this earth-facing complex sunspot AR3423 that NASA and NOAA have warned us about. It's quote-unquote doubled, tripled in size over the last few days. The last flare we had, I think we just discussed, was again another M1.1 out of 3431. So 3431 is the big culprit, although the largest flare of the day the 1.3 class M flare was at a 3429 just to the north here. I would expect all, all of these flares to have an earth component to them. And we'll take a look at that. All right. This is the 1040-1050 C6.7 solar flare. And you'll see the only one that follows that that's substantial is our M1.1 solar flare out of AR3431. Now, both of those flares came from that same sunspot, AR3431. Almost all of the flares have come from that sunspot. It is not complex. It is growing. So as far as these solar flares, we had six M and C flares come out of AR3431. It just came around the limb. It was just named. And we had our biggest flare of the day, the M1.3, come from the north out of AR3429. It's going to mean that these sunspots are going to be something to deal with as they become more Earth-facing. We also had activity come out of 3423 and need to keep an eye on that sunspot group. And here's a quick summary of what we just went over. 
the 1.3 out of 34.29 just at 1 UTC time, followed by 1.1 out of 34.31 at about 4 UTC time, followed by C7 at about 5.30 out of 34.31. 3431 then generated a C9.2, 3431 then generated a C6.7, and finally, just now, 3431 has generated another M1.1 flare. All right, head over to Lasco C3. We had our complex sunspot, probably backside, and then on the left over here, right about 3 UTC time, you start seeing all the activity come out of AR3431 and AR3429. And you can see that it continues to push plasma up, and it looks like at 12 UTC time, they went ahead and removed six hours, but you can see all the plasma being generated over that six-hour period. Six hours and 12 minutes have been removed, and that was the time period that we had all of our flares basically all right we have this story about the biggest flare of the day coming out of nasa a dramatic eruption you can see it here coming out of ar 3429 it was the one eruption out of that sunspot it looks very very large uh, to be an m 1.3 class solar flare Dramatic eruption. New sunspot AR3429 erupted this morning, September 11th at 1.28 UTC time, producing an M1.3 class solar flare and a surge of plasma over the sun's northeastern limb. We'll have to admit that this looks like a solar flare and then a filament eruption. Quite a lot of activity. Again, that was the only activity we had out of AR3429 so far today. The sunspot to the south of that has been much busier, AR3431. Soho chronographs observed a fast-moving coronal mass ejection emerging from the blast site, seemingly on the edge of the eastern strike zone. However, NASA models now show that the coronal mass ejection will miss Earth without a glancing below. So we don't have the other two M flares modeled that came from the sunspot to the south here. But as it looks right now, we might have escaped somehow another one with a complex sunspot directly facing Earth currently and three M flares already popping off with coronal mass ejections today. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember that Anything is possible in Bizarro World.